uh, actually just about to head out. I actually have a pretty big task that I've scheduled for today that I'm gonna get into very quickly with you. Uh, but before we start, I do want to, I mean, the theme of this vlogmas is to visit places that you guys recommend me. And so that's exactly what we're gonna do. I'm gonna start off with like, the best part of the day first, we're gonna visit this place. Usually I'd be like, okay, I reward myself after this task, but we'll start off with the reward first because I'm an adult, I do what I want. <laughs> so this place is recommended by Annie Amy Chan. I hope I pronounced your name right. If it's wrong, please correct me. And I'm really excited about this place. It looks really good. So judging by the location of this place, this is a pretty good morning tea, brunch, lunch, afternoon tea type spot. This place, it's actually quite unassuming. I very nearly walked past it. I thought I was lost, but we have just arrived at Fuji Japanese Biku. So like, I am quite hungry, which is always not a good position to be in when you're like grocery shopping, about to buy food, because I want to buy absolutely everything. I'm tempted to get the curry bun. I was speaking to the people here earlier and they said that's like quite a popular item. They also have a few sausage buns that I was told is quite popular. But then I see a pork cutlet roll and that looks beautiful. And I see like the custard pudding that I'm eyeing. And apparently the pork buns are also very popular. I've got the goods, now I just need to find a place to eat this. I saw on Google Maps, there is like a lookout, 10 minutes drive away from here. So I reckon we go to the lookout, eat this delicious bread, and then get on with our day. This is, I feel one of those lookouts that if you blink, you miss it and drive past it. All right, I'm not gonna wait any longer. Let's give this curry bread a go. The bread, it's like really crispy on the outside, but once you bite into it, it's like pillowy soft. This is so yummy. <laughs> the curry, it's like Japanese curry. So there's like a bit of sweetness to it. So it's not spicy at all. Okay, the next item that I really wanna try is the pork bun. We took this out of like the steam cabinets. It's not bad. Guys, if you do get the pork bun, my recommendation is to eat it as soon as possible. I left it in the bag a little bit, so the exterior isn't as fluffy as I'd like it to be, but they've got a good amount of um, interior filling. And I'm just going back for more and more and more. So I believe this is like a yakisoba inside of bread. I don't think I've ever had this before, not even in Japan. It's quite savory. A bit sweet and a little bit vinegary from the Worcestersh from the Worcestershire sauce. I'm really partial to anything that's savory and vinegary. So I really like this. Current ranking score. Well, there's no score. Current rankings. Curry pan. Carb on carbs. And pork bun. Okay, last but definitely not least, we've got the custard that I couldn't resist buying. It's very eggy and it's very, very smooth. So yeah, having tasted everything that I bought, there were other things in the bakery that looked really beautiful and they had pies as well, which I think they ran out. Um, the curry was probably my favorite. And thank you so much, Amy, for recommending this place for me to try. I really like it. So, the task that I'm looking forward to tackling today that I've been putting off for a little while is 
I don't know if you've noticed in my background, there's been these like containers that's just been sitting there. It's been sitting there for a few weeks now. Essentially, I went to Ikea with the intention of looking for inspiration for different storage containers and ideas for organizing my pantry. Now, I've never really shown you the insides of this for a reason. <laughs> it's quite messy and like I've tried to clean it before, but obviously I don't have a good system in place because after a couple weeks, this starts getting quite messy again. So I just want to try and organize this well enough so that it stays organized and I can see everything that I have for at least, like for at least a month. The plan really is to just take everything out, wipe everything down and then put everything back in, but in a way where I can see where everything is. Okay, I've migrated everything from here to here. There are seven slots down here. I also have these containers and these ones that I bought last time. But first, why do people do that? All right, I am done with organizing my pantry. I mean, I do think it is better than before. The reason why there's like gaps in each of them is because if I fill it all together, I won't be able to see what's behind and then that's when things get backed up. But yeah, if you have, you know, another suggestion on how to do this, I'm all ears. All right. I was actually going to make chicken congee for dinner tonight, but I'm actually really quite tired now. So I'm just going to make something super simple. Yeah, that's pretty much gonna be my dinner and that's it for today's vlog thank you so much for watching till the end i post new videos every weekday at the moment so check them out if you have time i hope you have an amazing rest of the night and i'll see you very very shortly bye um i think i'm gonna get the curry bun, fried noodle roll, pork bun as well. And I'll also get a custard pudding. <laughs> Is that a lot for one person? <laughs>